All right, so next up, let's discuss Marquette and NC State. Marquette coming off a win over Colorado today. Really close game. Colorado made a serious comeback at the end, made this game down to the wire, but ultimately Marquette gets the win. As for NC State, they have wins over Texas Tech, wins over Oakland. Coming in, Marquette as the two seed sitting at 27-9. and NC State as the 11 seed sitting at 24-14. First off, let's talk about NC State. All right, they won their ACC tournament. They kind of had to do that to even make the NCAA tournament, but here they are. They've won like seven games in 12 days. They're kind of on a roll right now. All right, led by Horn and Burns down low. And as far as Marquette is concerned, all right, have been without Tyler Kolick a little bit this year, particularly in the Big East tournament, but still made the championship nonetheless. He's back for the NCAA tournament, kind of getting back into form slowly. They're led by Jones, Kolick, and Igodaro. And he's looking better and better, talking about Kolick each and every day, kind of slowly getting back into form. Looking at NC State's resume a little bit, let's focus on the tournament teams they've played. Non-conference-wise, you've got a loss to BYU and then a loss to Tennessee. Then in conference play, you got a win over Virginia, lost to North Carolina, win over Clemson, and then in the Big East tournament, they end up going, I mean, sorry, I said Big East, ACC tournament, they go on a run, beat Duke, Virginia, and North Carolina. And then as far as Marquette is concerned, pretty impressive resume, to be honest with you. All right, obviously, while they're the two seed. Wins over Illinois. We know Illinois is rolling right now. Went over Kansas. When Kansas was kind of at its peak. A single-digit loss to Purdue. A loss to Wisconsin. A win over Texas. And then wins over Creighton. Lost to UConn. Lost to UConn. Lost to UConn. So, he split with Creighton. And then ultimately gets swept by UConn. So, that kind of shows you... Probably Marquette's ceiling. I won't acknowledge that last loss because they were without Tyler Kolick, so that's kind of iffy. Uh, and they may have been without him, to be honest with you, in the next to last one. I can't remember if he was out on the March 6th one. I think he might have been. Uh, but without Kolick, you know, they're not near the same team. They are impressive, talking about Marquette, without him still. But now that they have him back, it unlocks a certain different level of offensive capability that they didn't have without him because he can really dish the ball rack up those assists, hit the shooters, hit Igadaro, and they've got a ton of different options. As for NC State, they've kind of been bullying people down low with Burns, Middlebrooks. Horn is good on the outside. They also got Diara down low. O'Connell can shoot as well. But I think their run might come to an end. I think Marquette's guards are better. I think Igadaro is good enough to stop that crap down low with Burns bullying people down low. I think they're going to be able to shut that down, and I think their guard play is going to be a little too much. Even though NC State has went on a nice run here, they've gotten favorable matchups in the first and second round. Texas Tech was kind of depleted down low. They were on like their four-string big man, and you could definitely tell in that game. And then they got the good matchup with Oakland in the second round. And then as far as Marquette, really tough game here with Colorado today, but Colorado was really talented. I actually had them in my Elite Eight, so I thought they could win that game just based off of talent alone. And they kind of were going on a run right now as well. But I think Marquette is too good as far as, like I said, guard play and down low. Those three in particular that you can see on your screen for Marquette, Jones, Igadaro, and Kolick are really impressive. All good ball players. I think Marquette wins this game by double digits in the end. But who do you think wins this game and why? Let me know down in the comments section. Make sure to like this video. And most importantly, subscribe.